medical insurance scams in UK. The residents of Britain need to obtain valid car insurance for driving their vehicles. It has been found that the first insurance policy a person needs to make for his car is expensive. Buying cheap cars is not a solution either as the insurance companies tends to charge higher premiums. The problem is that car insurance like any other insurance is only useful if you need to claim it and particularly in regards to cars people like to feel that they are in control of their own destiny and will not crash. A lot of the drivers on the road who are considered as uninsured actually have insurance but insurance in name only and the policy does not actually cover them as comprehensively as it should do if at all. This is usually to save on the expense of getting a fully accurate policy and hoping that no one crashes or running with the foolhardy belief that people won't crash. It's an insurance policy that is known in other circles as tempting fate. It is a crime not to and it is a crime but thanks to a relatively new database that keeps the details of everyone who has insurance more and more people are getting caught for. Estimates suggest that drivers without appropriate insurance cost British drivers in the region of £500 million a year or £30 each in our own policies. Other figures recently released by the OBI suggested that car insurance fraud costs somewhere in the region of £40 per person on the road as insurance companies turn over £5 million in fraudulent claims every week. When it comes to fraud most insurance claims are from people who are claiming that their car or parts of it has been stolen. One recent example cited an individual who claimed that he had had large sections of his Rolls Royce stolen only for the insurance company's claim investigators to find the stolen parts in his house. The ironic thing then is that when people don't get insurance or get inaccurate policies because they believe it will be cheaper they are actually costing themselves and everyone else somewhere in the region of £70 extra. At any rate car insurance is vital. Whilst it may be inconvenient to pay the extra £100 or so in order to get a fully comprehensive policy or at the very least a policy that will actually pay out if something unexpected will happen if something unexpected does happen and your policy isn't accurate it will be a lot more than inconvenient. The small amounts of money that stand to be saved by inaccurate policies over the years will almost certainly be outweighed by the cost of that one crash that your insurance company refuses to pay for. For a range of quotes it's best to do some methodical online browsing.